is I'm I, I pray, when I pray a lot of times, especially in the morning, I remind God of this verse. I, I'm glad that his, his mercies, his compassions fail not. And I'm glad they, 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 they knew every morning. They're talking about here, in the morning you get up, you know, some of y'all get up pretty early. I think Brother Mike gets up about the time I go to bed, I believe. Amen. And you know, there's something about the early morning. It's just a freshness <coughs> of the early morning, it is. But this is talking about here. About getting a fresh start. Some people tonight are needing a fresh start in their life. A Christian tonight, just I'm talking about the Christians tonight. We got to see here tonight that appeals to a lot of people to get a fresh start. We appreciate fresh air, fresh water, and I appreciate fresh bread. Mr. <laughs> hey. Diane brought me a loaf of that sourdough bread. Lord, how hey. mercy hey. alive. <laughs> I appreciate things, we all appreciate things that are fresh. You know what, we like a lot of time. We like, sometimes we would like to just erase that chalkboard, erase that chalkboard and start all over again. Yeah. Yeah. We sure would. But we see here tonight, may not be possible we can do that in a lot of things. I'm glad the Bible tells us in Revelation, one day all things will be made new. Amen? Yeah. Revelation 2.15 said that he that sat upon the throne, 21.55 I mean, he said that he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I made all, made all things new. And he said unto me, Right thee, for these things are true and faithful. I tell you what, but until all these things are made new, folks, we got to experience a, a fresh start in a lot of ways. There are many times in our life as God's children, things get stale for us. Many times we get in a rut coming into the house of God, don't we? Amen. And we just need the God to give us a fresh start on some things. But there's some things I'm going to point out tonight in God's people's lives that they need a fresh start in. God may not change our circumstances, folks. He may not choose to do that. But He can change a lot of things in our life, can He? He sure can. Amen. Yeah. Sometimes people ask, preacher, why does God allow me to go through this and don't take it away from me? First of all, God knows what He's doing. Maybe it's right. And His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. But you know what? We, we, even though we don't have to live in a stale life, a stagnant life, we need to understand God expects us tonight to enjoy serving Him. The reason a lot of people don't want to be saved is they see us that are Christians. Sometimes we get down in the dumps. We, we have that black cloud seem like following us everywhere we go. And we, 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 we make a presentation to them and hey, uh, it's gloom and despair and they think, well, if they like that, I might well stay lost because there's no different in Christ. I'll tell you what, because of faith, compassion, and His mercy, we can have a fresh start. Amen. We can have a fresh start as a child of God. We can have a fresh start in our church, in, our, in the ministry, in the marriages. There have been many a time I, I've seen marriages all over just completely destroyed. And God give them a fresh start, and they do good, they do good. We need, most importantly, we we need to fresh start in our prayer life. Amen. You know, I've, I've learned something over the years as a preacher. Oh, more importantly, as a Christian. But I'm not, we could be doing good disciplining ourselves, praying. But one time of slipping, don't watch that and keep going. Keep slipping. Yeah. Amen. That's the truth. That's the, yeah. That's but I want to preach a little bit tonight on this first part. On the Getting a fresh start. And we as God's people, we all sometimes need that fresh start. 
Just like a car, a battery on a car. Sometimes the batteries, for some reason, you may leave your lights on when you go into the store or go to the church or uh, the work. And you come out and it's dead or four o'clock. Then you have someone to come. Some people got them little old jump boxes they carry around with them. They can hook them up and crank the car. What they're doing is they're giving that battery a fresh start, a fresh start. Sometimes we get we get down like that sometime in our life. And we need to pray for the Lord, we need a fresh start. There's some things, there's a couple of areas, three about two or three areas in our life that we need to God to give us a fresh start in. First of all, when we get a fresh start, we'll receive a fresh spirit. You know what David said over David prayed for God to give him a fresh spirit, didn't he? What did he say here? And Psalm 51 and up 19, he, he said, create, me a, and create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. You see, David, his life was in shambles here. Now you've got to read Psalm 51 is really the repentant prayer that David prayed after he was found out that he had, had a, the him and Bathsheba had that adulterous affair and conceived the child out of wedlock. And you remember the story about the baby dying and all that. But David repented. And they say this Psalm, chapter 51, is a repentant prayer that David prayed when he got right with God. You see what he did? And that's what we need to understand tonight. David saw what happened. He saw that the damage that had been done by that old nature. And he wanted that new nature in us. A lot of people need that new nature to renew in them. Amen. Because let me tell you, we've got to understand sometimes we ignorantly and we not, don't even own it, not even worry of it a lot of times, we'll slide in. We get a little indifferent on God. David said, Lord, I, I saw what I done, but God, I want you to create me a clean heart and renew the new spirit. Renew the spirit in me, and I will revive that new nature that you give me. Let me back. Mm -hmm. I'll give you this illustration many times, and you again. You can do, get two plants, same size, same kind of plant. Okay, you can put them side by side. You can put fertilizer on one, water it good, and you can let one just don't 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 do anything to it. Within two weeks, that one that you keep watering and fertilizing will be green and luscious. And that, that plant you don't have to dry up and die. That's exactly the way we've got. Amen. Whatever you let, if you, if you tell you what, we need to learn. We need to feed ourselves from God's Word. Feed ourselves off each other. Now let me tell you what, we feed off each other when we come to church. Yeah. How do you mean, preacher? When I come, I say I come, I'm discouraged, okay? And I come to Brother Mike, Brother Phil, Brother, some of y'all, and you talk to me, you encourage me, I'm a feeding off of you. Yeah. That's why it's important. I mean, I preach at faith. I'm a faithless preacher. You know I preach on faith, faithless a lot. But that's why it's so important. But David said, Lord, I need that new spirit. I need a fresh, that fresh joy, that new spirit renewed in me. I need that spirit renewed in me. Mm -hmm. In other words, Lord, I need to be revived in my heart like I ought to be. He said, Lord, I've done wrong. I've, I've, I've done wrong. I've caused, I've caused sin in my life. It's, it caused me to mess up. And I'm, even a little baby dead because of me. And a man that was true to me in my army, I had him killed. I need to get right with you, Lord. He wanted that new nature to be buried on a dead day. And that new spirit revived in him again. That's what he wanted. He wanted that new spirit revived in him. I know I've seen people to get out of get out of the church throw the backside on God. You'll see them on the street, but they won't look in, look in the eye. And I've seen them be so miserable in their life. What it is, that old nature is ruling their life again. They still say that they backslidden far away from God. But all of a sudden, they get worthy all of being get out with God, and you see the whole unit, the whole attitude. A change because that spirit is renewed within them. 
That's what people need tonight, friend. Yes, we're living in tough times. Yes, we're living, we're living in perilous times. But the last time I read, I read my Bible, my God is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I know He'll yeah. never let us down. But yeah. let me tell you, we've got to understand, He wanted that old nature to be buried. Let me tell you, we fight the old nature every day, friend. Yes, when we get saved, we get saved. Oh, when we were born, we were born that Adam nature. Yeah. And when we get saved, that God imparted that divine nature in us. And within us are two natures that are fighting against each other. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Amen. Right. Like that old idiot got saved, so how you feel? It's like two dogs fighting inside him. That's about yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. That old nature, that new nature. <coughs> That old nature. Uh, you know, this is about like you're riding down the road. I went to a four way stop sign yesterday, but I was going to pull out there and run it. I, I blow the horn and said, Why would you do that for? <laughs> I know somebody else has done that too. <laughs> I'm going to let him out. He, he's scared. I like to have a heart attack stroke and I like when he's in a coma over his back. <laughs> <laughs> but after I get it, you know what I said? Just said, What I said? I said, Why did I do that for? <laughs> Why did I blow him out? God protected me. But you know, watch our nature. It'll jump ahead of us. You know, yeah. But David said, hey, look, he wanted to put that death to that old man again. And that's that new man living in him. There's so many people that let the new man die out. That still saved and still got the divine nature. But to let that rule and force the old nature take over them. And it needs to be renewed in their spirit, friend. Amen. Yes. The affections must be made right or our nature will go wrong again. We have to be right. It has to be important for the Lord to do work in us, Brother Mike, and in our spirit. Amen. We, let me tell you what, Brother Mike, I'm going to say this. I'm not trying to be arrogant to nobody. Please don't get me wrong. But I'm get tired of trying to run after people that won't go to church. You're right. You know what I think I'll do? Just leave them alone, Brother Mike. Let God help them. I ain't going to get. Listen, I'm already gray headed enough and about to get the ball in the back. I ain't worried about people out like there. One thing about it, if I can't get God, I can't do nothing with them. What makes me do you think? That's right, preacher. That's right. Good boy, preacher. Until they, you know, until they get their heart right, they'll never have that right spirit within them, friend. Amen. Yeah. Until they say, hey, and that's exactly the way it is. You have trouble in your life. You have things in your life that bother you. You've got to get on the right perspective with God and say, Lord, I can't handle this. I'll give it to you. That's when you're on the right trail, of Israel. Yes. What our problem is, we want to fix it ourselves. That's right. How many of you try to fix things on your own? Most time it costs you more if you would if you hired somebody to do it. Yeah. Amen. That's the way we all. But we try to fix ourselves things wrong. Sometimes it don't make me. Don't, it don't never work. Amen. Amen. You know what it means? Having the new spirit. First of all, if you're lost, but it means be saved. That's that new spirit that needs in him. Renewed. You see, a lot of folks in there, they bark and they cry and said, I'm saved. But they did, all the time, all the time, I'm not judging, I'm just saying by the way that they, they say, well, I'm saved, they never go to church, they never back up to church, never do anything for God. When they get saved, they have to make a preacher in heaven, I don't believe, I don't understand it. You don't understand, I don't understand it. First time, how are you going to renew that new spirit? First time, get saved. Say it off to say, man, ask for forgiveness. Yeah. Ask for forgiveness. Repent. That's what that word repent means. Repentance is not preached to God in churches no more. It's just feel good, feel good salvation. Do as you please salvation. I'll tell you what, the Bible still got the word repent in it. In the Bible, that's all the Bible says. Yeah. That the word settled in heaven is forever settled. Let's go back and say it like that. Everybody yeah. said, let me tell you tonight, friend, to the lost mean get saved, to the saved mean accepted, and get forgiveness. Let me tell you, let me know what a part of a fresh attitude, a fresh thought or attitude is accepting responsibility for the condition of our hearts. Listen to this. I've got this other line in my outline. Listen to this. If it's always everyone else that needs to change, you're missing the whole point. Yeah. It ain't my fault I'm going to write my job. That old hell. Tell you one thing, friend. <laughs> no, I better not say it. <laughs> We got to understand, the Bible says every man draws away with him what? Enticed with what? When he's drawn away of what? Of his own lust. That's right. But we see you tonight. We got to understand and see this tonight, friend. We got to, first of all, before you can get help from God, you got to know you can ask God to help you. 
Yeah. Some people don't need help from God. You know that? Yeah. Some people say, I'm going to, I don't know, but one day I'm afraid it's going to be too late. Amen. When they see that love will stretch out in the coffin somewhere, or they lose everything to God, they come down with some unbearable disease. And they're going to figure out, hey, I've been wrong all along, but sometimes they wait too late to get right with God. Yeah. Amen. I try not to get too excited, but it's hard. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Put it on. First, the point of the matter, the, the point of the thing is, the change starts with us. It starts with us, in us, by God. He's the one that starts the process. How, preacher? By a little word, conviction. That's how it all starts. Conviction. You'll never get right with God till you get convicted. Mm -hmm. Yep, man. Yeah. Yep, man. You can't get right with God anytime you want to. You know that? That's right. right. I let the Holy Ghost of God convince you. You can't get saved anytime you want to. That's right. That's right. I heard him say, well, I want to live my life, sell my wild oats. I want to also have that soul. That shall you also be. Amen. Been many and many and many women, many young boys, young girls have said the same thing, and now they died lost and they're in hell to die because they did not see the need to repent. You know what? Repentance is something that's a bed, that's the bedrock of salvation. You've got to repent before you can come to Christ. You've got to go. You've got to come and ask God, say, Lord, I'm not, Lord, I, when I was lost, I prayed crazy prayers all night. I say, you know, I'd get in trouble in, uh, at home or somewhere. I'd go to church. I'd get on the altar and go down. I say, Lord, if I ain't saved, save me. <laughs> that sounds like something blind was saying. I wasn't blind, by the way. But you got you got to understand when we, we don't go that we're gonna say, Lord, it ain't Brother Fifth that needs help. It ain't Brother Mike needs help. Oh, it's me. Yeah. I need it, God. Right, if we do that, God will renew. He'll give us that fresh start and fresh spirit about it. Then you have to run. There's nothing no greater. Than to have the de have that guilt that you carry around released out of your life and, and you feel like you're clean on the inside. You are. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll, I'll come. And that spirit will be renewed in you. That attitude will be renewed in you. Mm -hmm. A lot of people tonight are blaming others for their condition. Yeah. They blaming others because, well, they hurt. No, no, we've all been hurt. I told somebody before this is true. A lot of times you get hurt more in church than when I said I'm in church. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. People will look at it and be mean to you. Mm -hmm. You know what? I just hope look at you people. I, I, I've been a long time. Let's go liberal. But I'm, first of all, a fresh spirit about it, Brother Mike. Amen. It starts with repentance, confession, and a continuous in serving God. I tell you what, we're living in the time and day and age we're living in, folks. People to come to church, they'll get on the altar and cry the crocodile tears, but there's no change. When I got saved by the Lord back in 1978, <clears throat> that night I prayed a repentant prayer. I didn't say, Lord, if I'm lost, save me. I said, God, I'm on my way to hell. I'm a lost sinner. Now you got to save me. Amen. And guess what happened? I've got that new spirit. Yeah. Amen. And there's been times in my life that I've grown cold on God. And I'm glad there's still room at the cross. Amen. Amen. And I remember getting on my knees before God and Lord, please forgive me and help me. Now, let me tell you something. When I was a young boy, you listen to me. <laughs> don't judge me, boy, because some of you probably done worse than I have. I don't know. I remember when I was, we had Denise with a little bitty thing. And you know how it is. Y'all mom, you mom know how it is when you have young. Sometimes they'll start burning up. They'll be playing one minute and burning up with a feet the next minute. Yeah, man. My Denise was a little, she had lost a couple of ear infections when she was a little girl. And I remember she got sick. We had to put her in the hospital. One of the worst things I ever saw since the day and they had to tie my baby down and put a, put an IV in the top of her head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I had been got cold on God, but I'm like, I'll be honest with you, I had. I walked and I saw that brother Mike. I walked in the room. 
I walked in that house and I'm sorry, God. God, I've been wrong. I can be right with you, Lord. And you showed me through my young and I need to get right. God, please renew you that new spirit in me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what it takes, folks. Sometimes God has to do great and drastic things. Please don't wait to God has to push your button. Has to do something yeah. to you. Yeah. And then that night, and I, that night, and I asked God to forgive me. Why? I asked God to forgive. We got right with the Lord, and my baby got better. Amen. 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 That renew the spirit. That's what people need. A fresh start, a new renewed spirit. And when we get when we get a fresh start to brother Ryan, we'll get a renewed strength. Hey. <laughs> when we find ourselves faint and weary, that's when we need God, brother Mike. Yes, sir. Are you weary tonight? When you get weary, I tell you what, friend, you don't you just get miserable. Yeah. You don't, you're not happy. People and a lot of times we understand and see this. We get miserable sometimes because we try to deal with our problems on the on the uh, human level instead of the spiritual level. Yeah. We try to do and do it on our own. And the more we do it, the worse mess we make. Yeah. And I want to show you something here, folks. You know what Isaiah says? Isaiah says this. But they that wait upon the Lord. Yes, sir. Shall. That's right. Renew awesome. their strength. That's the They shall. I like that. Mount up with eagles. Hmm. They shall run. Amen. And be not weary. Right. And God. they shall walk. Yes, sir. And not be in the now. Amen. I like those shadows. Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said, hey, when we're getting weak and faint and everything else, we just need to say, God, please help us tonight. Yeah, please help us. Yeah. Please help us. Give us grace. Give us strength. Let me tell you. Let me take. You know, when we do that, give it to God and pray, God, help us. It gives, it allows God to give us power to overcome. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 40, in verse 29 of the same chapter, he said, He that giveth pain, he giveth power to the faint and the dead that have no might, he increases strength. Amen. Well, glory to God. That's wonderful. Amen. It allows God to increase our strength, folks. It allows that strength to be renewed. Man, when you get down in the dump, folks. You ever had any down in the dump moment, folks? Oh, yeah. Get saved by the grace of God. We get, let me tell you what, you just come get saved, don't mean you don't get down something. We do all yeah, that. Right. And I'm going to tell you what, friend, we got to understand this, folks. We just say, God, I can't. I haven't always been faithful, but you have. Yeah. Let me tell you what, we need to understand. You see this tonight in the scripture. We need, and God need to ask God to allow, allow God to renew. Well, how, how do we do that, preacher? There's, a, there's an answer to it in verse 31. Look here. He said, but they that wait, wait upon the Lord, he said. Mm -hmm. Gotta wait. You know what? It's hard to wait when you're impatient first in, ain't it? Mm -hmm. It's hard to wait when you say, Lord, I want it done yesterday. God says, slow down, son, and I'll do it in my time. Hey. He said, he, he, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They build stamina. We well, people need stamina. We need, need strength to, to, to carry on. I tell you what, friend, that's why it's so important. We have Wednesday night prayer meet for a reason. That's kind of a long time between Sunday and Sunday, folks. Yeah. Yes, I can feel that, that little, little old Dotson, a little Nissan right there, a couple of guys. But sooner or later, Brother Mike, I'm going to have to get filled back up. Amen. And I tell you what, we as God's people, we need filling up. Now, sometimes we leak. Amen. And we need to fill up God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And you know how you can get it first on your knees? In the house of God, yeah. in the word of God, yeah. in the song of God. Amen. And worshiping Him. And yeah. God, we can mount up an eagle, a wing of eagle. He'll give us that new strength. Let me tell you, Amen. we've been weak and weary. But let me tell you what, you know what Paul said? When I am weak, then I am strong. Yeah. Amen. 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 He said, when I am weak and part, God give me strength to Amen. Amen. There have been times yeah. in my life since I've been saved. I've been weak. 
the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that you put on the new man, which is after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. What he said here, how 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 do how how can we receive a receive we receive, how can we get renewed in our strategy? First of all, remember what you've been taught. Many times, folks, I've been going through things in memory of what I've been taught to the scriptures have helped me. Let me tell you what, some of us, a lot of us have been through a lot. And a lot of us have faced trials. And there's been many times I've often resorted back to the scriptures. That's what we need to do tonight. We've been taught, and you know what? It's ingrained more in, in you than you really know. It sure is. Because the Bible said, he, what said, he said, he said, you know what he said? He said, it, so be that you have heard him, in verse number 21, remember what you've been taught by, by, Lord, by the Lord, by the lessons he learned. God, we have life lessons we learn from God. Amen. You get saved. I got saved. I thought, you know, I was even back then. I, I didn't know. I, I was new and I just got saved. I thought, man, it, it's all going to be good now, Mom. Boy, oh, I had a good awakening ahead of me. I had been saved no time. We had a business meeting, Brother Phil. <laughs> Wednesday night, I never thought of her. And this woman got up. Uh, oh, my goodness. I was expecting her to sprout corn during the time. <laughs> so she let in on that preacher. <coughs> I thought same people didn't suppose to act like that no more. Yeah. They ain't. That shows that she might not have been saved. But I'll tell you what, we need to understand see this tonight, folks. Remember what you've been taught. There's things that mama, your mamas and daddies have taught you when you're all young. You've never forgotten, have you? And in your life, there have been circumstances you've applied what you've learned to what you have going through then, and it's helped you, hasn't it? Yeah. Had it? Yeah. A lot of you women, girl, you women, you learned how to cook from your mama. And that's helped you as you raise a family to take care of your family. A lot of you men, not me, because I'm not mechanically, mechanically inclined. But you learn how to work on work on uh, 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 motors and other things by your dad, from your daddy, your brothers, your uncles, whoever. And it helped you throughout your life. It helped you save a lot of money. It helped me. You can tell about when we get saved and we go through these things, God, we need to remember what we have learned. There, you know what? I've learned more lessons through failures than I have successes. Amen. And you will too. I've learned more lessons when I'm in the valley mm -hmm. than I wind up in the mountain. Yes, amen. Because in the valley we get closer to God. Yes. We prone to watch out. We get full of pride on the mountain. We'll get yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. We win. Amen. Yes. There's nothing wrong. I like to shout with the best of them. I do. But I don't really shout. I don't like to shout a lot of times. Yeah. Sometimes I'm pretty low. But I tell you what, I'm glad you did me up. I'm glad he gives us strength. But we've got to understand tonight. Yeah. See, yeah. this is not feel. We need to understand. we got to receive a good enough strategy. You remember over there in the Word of God? Oh, Jesus preached over in John 6. Oh, the servant of bread and life. Although John's disciple left. They, they walked. I mean, he, you're talking about a preacher. He didn't preach it. He preached. He divided when he preached. God. He, preached. he knew the whole. How is your life a preacher get there and preach and know what you're thinking right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Lord, how might this could come to church from? <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus preached that day and all of them run. Run, all but the twelve. Jesus turned and said, You also go away. Old Peter, he said, Where should we go, Lord? You've got the word to fly. Yeah. And you remember, you remember when, G, when, when Peter denied Christ there at the garden? Down there, I mean, not the garden, but there, there at the fire, he, he denied knowing Christ. And he heard the cock crow, crow, crow when he had to be denied him three times. And then the Bible said he remembered Jesus' words mm -hmm. and he wept bitterly. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what, that can be a good comfort to us sometimes when we're facing things. Remember what God said about it. Yeah. When you're in the storm, remember this. Just like the disciples there with him, were there on the Sea of Galilee, Jesus told them to go to the other side and said he went up in the mountain to pray. And everybody said, why did he go to the mountain to pray for? He was praying for them because he knew they were fixing good fishing to get the storm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And then you listen to what happened. There about the four o'clock, it's about two be working three to five o'clock in the morning. They're six miles out in the middle of a raging ocean. He may come walk. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> He got on the mountain, he got on the water, and got the demon. Hey, man, let me tell you, ain't you glad he prayed for us? Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Ain't you glad through the experiences and hearing the word of God and hey, see people and, and learning from life? He said we will receive a fresh strategy. When we get that new, we get that new strategy. When that we revive, we'll get a new strategy. We got to remember this. We may think in, in the latter time that hey, God can't do it, but we'll come out saying God done it before and didn't do it again. Amen. 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 Remember what you know what? He says, verse 20, 21, he said, You're not so learn Christ if you have learned him, have been taught by him as the truth of Jesus. First of all, you remember what you've been taught. Second of all, you reject what you used to be. Look at verse number 22. He says this, that you put off concerning the former conversation of the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. He said, put it off. To take off his hands. I got saved. Well, I got saved, but I, I'm not proud of the way I used to talk. Well, I'm not proud of the way I used to do things. Amen. But you know, when I got saved by the night, I put off that old man. Yes. Man. yes. God rode me with his righteousness. Yes, he did not. I'll say. That's when you get renewed a new strategy, you'll put off that old man. And you, and you, you, you put aside, you, you let that new, you, you, that spirit and divine nature in you to take dominance in your life again. We allow it. We allow it. It's a, every individual, not just, it's not a general thing, it's a personal thing. That when we get like that, we allow it because only of us, I'm only responsible for me. And you only responsible for you. And when you get that's when you, you get the, when you get that new spirit, get renewed in your heart and strategy, you won't mind going to church. Yeah. You won't mind going to the house of God. You won't mind hearing preaching and singing. You don't mind being in the house of God. There's a lot of people, they may be saved, but they need to be, they need a new fresh start in their life. Why? Mm -hmm. So we are God's people. It can happen to all of us, so yes. It can happen to anybody sitting in this building tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From the pulpit to pew, it can happen. Oh, for the grace of God, it ain't us. We live yeah. like that. But I'll tell you what, friend. Not only do you remember what you've been taught and re re reject what you used to be, but receive what you should be. Verse 23, look at verse 24, 23 says this, says, And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And, and that you put on the new man which is after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Yeah. Ain't it good to be back in touch with God? Right. Man gets saved by the grace of God. When we get saved, you see they, they've been alienated from, the, alienated from God because of their <coughs> sin. When they get saved, they get reconciled to God by the blood of Jesus Christ. And they get about what God intended for them to be strong with. His child lived for Him. See, we, we face things. We, we need to understand. Even, listen, I'll tell you what. 
in the day we're living today, folks, the way things are going and the way people are doing, you see a great falling away. You see people quitting church. You see preachers get caught up in wickedness. You yeah. see all kinds. I see it everywhere. I see it and it makes God sick. And you better keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. And you better walk to walk for Him. And let me tell you, when you see yourself trying to get a little slack and wee wee, you cry out to God and say, God, renew in me a right spirit. Amen. Amen. That's what we need. If our spirit be renewed, amen, and our strength be renewed, and that strategy be renewed, we'll see a different church and different people. Amen. We'll be different people. We'll stand up here. Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord, for this night. Thank you for letting us be here. God, help us, God, understand, God, in our lives, we need to be renewed. Thank you, God, for